walamu anna ma ghanimtum min shay'in fa anna lillahi khumusahu now you know in the beginning it was said this is your repetition of that subject now and this is the style of the quran while composing this surah the most important ayah or issue is taken in the beginning so this surah began with yasaluna kalin alfal because this was the most sensitive issue after the victory of badr you know how to divide them what to do with them these spoils this booty a lot of it how to distribute it so there's the first answer was given very categorical all these belong to allah and his messenger you just wash off your hands and go and sit so that when if something is given it will appear to be very valuable first of all it belongs to allah and rasul you have no right in it no share but now the law which is permanent law walamu anna ma ghanimtum min shay'in be it be known to you that whatever you have as spoils of war a booty fa anna lillahi khumusahu for allah wali rasul and his messenger only one fifth will be reserved and this will be spent on what fa anna lillahi khumusahu wali rasul wali zil qurba wal yatama wal masakin wa ibn sabil these are to be spent now number 1 you know the expenses of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself he was not getting any salary was he he was not being paid he was not doing any business now till such time that he was at makkah you know the wealth of khadija radhiyallahu ta'ala anha was going it was quite a lot but after hijra what that is why many nights he and his family had to go without any food you have it, all these things in the hadith and the seerah but now allah has opened the way except that somebody you know came and presented something he didn't take any zakah any sadaqat but gifts presents they could be accepted whatever a muslim presented okay even out of it he used to spend for others there were you know as had a sofa sitting outside so he was going he and his family going for many times together without any food meals without any food but now a definite source fanna lillahi khumusahu walir rasul now his expenses out of this one fifth walazil qurba and his relatives his relatives is al qurba because he is also a human being he has his relations not only his personal but his relatives wal yatama and now the orphans for the general you know society wal masakin and the destitute the poor wal sabil and the travelers in kuntum amantum billahi wa ma anzalna ala abdina if you actually have faith in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then you must accept this one fifth reserved for this four fifths will be distributed that detail has not been given here we know it from the hadith and seerah double share was for the mounted whosoever had a camel or a horse also his share was double because he was feeding him feeding it there were no regular supply lines and you know no rations or no nothing of the sort so whosoever was mounted was looking after the the animal himself so he should get double and you know the foot soldiers they will get single that was the rule decided although you might not have gathered anything you know if you were standing on guard somewhere you were not you had not taken any part in the actual combat you are not the combatant but you will also be given a part it's a collective thing that allah subhanahu wa taala has given you not your personal efforts so one fifth will be reserved and the four fifth will be decided wa ma anzalna ala abdina yawm al furqan yawm al taqal jamaan and if you believe in what we send down on our bondsman muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yawm al furqan on the day of criterion 
Now these words of Abu Jahl are thrown back on them. He said it is going to be Yawmul Furqan and we did make it Yawmul Furqan. This is Yawmul Furqan. Yawmul Taqal Jam'an, the day when the two hosts, the two armies, they met each other. وَمَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا يَوْمِ الْفُرْقَانِ يَوْمِ الْتَقَلْ جَمْعَانِ وَاللَّهُ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْنِ قَدِيرٌ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has power over everything. إِذْ أَنْتُمْ بِالْعُدْوَةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ بِالْعُدْوَةِ الْقُسْوَةِ Now this valley, Badr is a valley, a broad valley. And at both the ends, north and south, it narrows down into a very narrow alley of mountains. Mountains to this side, mountains to that side. The usual caravan route passed through this valley. When coming from Makkah, they entered the southern end of the valley. And then when they proceeded for north, from the northern end. So this, these are the two ends. And the road which goes to Medina is also near the, the northern end. So now the Prophet and his companions, they came from Medina. So they were at the the closer, which was more closer to Medina, nearer to Medina, on that end of the valley. Is antum bilud, but it dunya. Dunya is the feminine of adna. Adna is nearer. Dunya is the feminine. The nearer corner of the valley you reach there. Wahum bilud, but in kuswa. And they at the farther end, they were present there. Barrakma aswala minkum. And the caravan was. Beneath you. What does it mean? Actually what Abu Sufyan did. When he was returning with that caravan. Which had a lot of merchandise with it. Number one he sent an SOS message to Makkah. I fear an attack from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So send an help. Secondly. He changed his route. He didn't enter the valley of Badr. He passed by the coast of the Red Sea. Because now the Red Sea coast was at a lower level. So that is why Allah is saying they were beneath you. You were at a higher place. It's a mountainous region. You were higher. He didn't take this route at all. He just bypassed the Badr valley of Badr and he went near the coast, along the coast. وَرَّكْبُ أَسْفَلَ مِنْكُمْ وَلَوْ تَوَعَدْتُمْ لَقْتَلَفْتُمْ فِي الْمِعَادِ And had you made a mutual agreement of meeting at one place, you must have committed something, mistake, and you would have differed in the time. But at the same time, they came and Muhammad s.a.w. reached here. It was only three days journey of Badr from Medina. Ten days from Makkah. But Allah planned it in a way that they reached the, the valley absolutely simultaneously. Had you decided mutually that we shall meet at the Badr of, on such and such date, you might have differed due to any circumstances. There could be delay of your arrival in, the, in, in this valley or the arrival of the, the Quraysh might have been delayed. But because Allah wanted to accomplish and to show this Al-Furqan to the whole of Arabian Peninsula, people of all the Arabian Peninsula, that Allah is with them. Allah is with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He wanted to make it Yom Al-Furqan, so he decided that you and they both reached Badr simultaneously. اِذْ أَلْتُمْ بِالْعُدْوَةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ بِالْعُدْوَةِ الْقُسْوَىٰ وَرَّكْبُ أَسْوَلَ مِنْكُمْ وَلَوْ تَوَعَدْتُمْ لَقْتَلَفْتُمْ فِي الْمِعَادِ وَلَاكِلْ لَيَقْزِيَ اللَّهُ أَمْرًا كَانَ مَفْعُولًا But this was so that a matter is accomplished fully, which was to be accomplished. The will of Allah had to be fulfilled. لَيَحْلِكَ مَنْ هَلَكَانْ بَيَّنَةٍ So that now when it has become clear, it is Furqan. Haq and Batil are discriminated, totally differentiated for the whole of the Arabian Peninsula. لِيَحْلِكَ مَنْ هَلَكَانْ بَيَّنَةٍ Now whosoever has to die, he should die. After this clear sign. Not in doubt. And whosoever wants to live spiritually. He should live with a clear sign. That this is the sign of Allah. This is Al-Furqan. 
which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has showed that Muhammad and his companions are on the right path and these people of Makkah are on the wrong path. Inna Allah la samiyun alim. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sami, all hearing and alim, all knowing. 